Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and we have another marathon video talking about the recent FPS podcast that Jason Schreier was on, where he was revealing some details about Bungie and Marathon and Sony stuff, and it's, I don't know, I want to be excited for this game, and it just seems like there's just one thing after another that is gonna be getting in the way of you know, a good release. That being said, if you like marathon content, make sure you sub to the channel. We will be covering it, you know, news and stuff, and definitely be playing the game when it comes out eventually. So if you want to stay up to date, I could be your third favorite marathon YouTuber. I'm grinding away towards 15,000 subs. I know 90% of you aren't subscribed, so just help me out a little bit. But on that podcast, Jason Schreier said that things are not great from what I've heard regarding the development of marathon he went on to say there's a reason that marathon was planned for this year and slipped the whole year and people that i've talked to are a little pessimistic about it even hitting its current planned deadline but we'll see i don't know exactly when that is sometime in 2025 i'm not sure that's insane to me that there was a year delay i mean this this has been in development for a long time already i assume with the changes in the game philosophy that's probably lending itself to you know delays also losing a huge chunk of your development staff at bungie also doesn't help the thing is is i think you know sony playstation they definitely want this game to succeed i think it's very important for them that it succeeds i think it's very important for them you know to not look dumb for paying so much money to basically buy Bungie and then have nothing, you know, come out. We know all the Destiny stuff and how they've been losing money and blah, 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 blah. So it's like Sony doesn't want to look dumb at the end of the day. They definitely want this game to succeed. Jason also went on to say the sentiment I've heard is not great around it, at least of a few months ago. And then he says that it kind of parallels with Suicide Squad killed the Justice League which we all know was, you know, in development for a long time, a ton of delays. Marathon was being developed when extraction shooters were quote-unquote hot, which I don't really know if I agree with that. I always feel like the future of extraction shooters was coming instead of it being like a huge thing at the current moment. I mean, you have Tarkov and things like that, but they never felt as big as Battle Royales were at that time. It just felt like the next big thing was going to be an extraction shooter, so I don't know. Jason ends by saying they're really putting a lot into it, and I'm just not sure there's much of a chance that it'll, it will be successful. Jason then kind of wraps up and says they're really putting a lot into it, and I'm just not sure there's much of a chance that it'll be successful. Which, what the heck, man. You know, again, Bungie needs Marathon to be successful. Sony needs it to be successful. There's just been wave after wave of bungee negative news and it's getting really difficult to stay optimistic about what this game could be again i am absolutely going to give it a shot i'm gonna be completely honest outside of like whatever the next halo thing is marathon was the only game that i was like super excited about that had been announced i would love to see titanfall 3 so i'm not gonna give up on it from you know the get-go or before the game's even out it will stink if there is another delay i can't that would like, if it goes into, like, 2026 or something, I don't know what to think at that point. You would think with more time, more delays, that the game would get better, but we've kind of seen a trend where when there are a ton of delays, nothing really gets solved and the game still releases in a pretty bad state. Now, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I do read all the comments, and I try to respond to a, a big majority of them, unless they're, like, just super hateful or mean or something. If you enjoyed the video make sure you leave a like down below if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one peace